out today in the test field flying a medium format camera in the air. And you know those uh, heavy lifters designed for you know, Red and Airy Mini on the Movie Pro, so this relatively little camera flies like it's empty. <laughs> it's just bouncing around in the air like it has no payload, so it's awesome. Awesome to fly, flies for a long time. And it's cool, I can control it from the ground and see the picture and everything's working well. out around town over the next couple of days and try some different shots now that the tech's up and running. Check my frame out. Frame, 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 frame. All right. So there's like a few terms that have survived from the film days into the era of digital photography. And medium format is one of those things. That's like a size of film bigger than like 35 millimeter, but smaller than like big sheets of film. What are the numbers, Chris? Eight by 10, four by five? Four by five, eight by 10. Large format Sheet photography. Film. In the film era, like the medium format was kind of like the pro standard. It's what went to the moon, it's Hasselblad, Mamiya. The 35 millimeter was kind of a little more consumery, and that that hasn't really survived through the digital era because we think of medium format as more of an exotic thing, I think, because it's been so expensive. Out here, we're, we're flying this Fuji GFX 100, 100 megapixel medium format. So these are 100 megapixel files, 102 megapixel, 16-bit raw files. Incredible amount of detail and color and contrast. This gorgeous, huge file. All right, 150 feet. 200 feet out. Oh, that's a pretty shot. Seeing them from the air has been pretty exciting. So this is a camera that has, because it's mirrorless, has autofocus and you know the ability to preview the shots from the ground so we can look through the viewfinder from you know, 1,600 feet away or 2,000 feet away. It takes a you know, team of us to fly it, a pilot, a uh, camera op seems to be happy in the air and the video link gives us like a real-time view of the camera scene and everything seems to be working really well. It's uh, amazing to have that kind of resolution in the air. Uh, Fuji's a killer camera. I'm really excited to get back to the computer last night and look at some of the files and can't wait to see these too. So the last light of the afternoon here on the um, Bay Bridge, we're gonna put up for one last flight and uh, get some, some sunset shots as the sun goes down behind San Francisco over there with this gorgeous 100 megapixel 16-bit camera. Yeah, I see a picture. Awesome. Ready? Is ours supposed to be floppy?
Speaking of the Bay Bridge, we've come to San Francisco for this last test, um, which is to put the GFX 100 on the on the big drone into a kind of a real world commercial shoot, like something we might do on any given day, um, but using medium format instead of the usual tools. This is Uber's feature headquarters in San Francisco, um, and the construction company is a client of mine that I shoot for. Normally, so this was a chance to slip this technology, this way of working, into the setting just to make sure everything we're not missing anything in terms of workflow. Caught sunrise across the bay, and then got a bunch of stills shot wide, medium, tight, you know, different prime lenses on the Fuji system. The results off the camera are really good because like there's a lot of very clear detail, a lot of like rich color and exposure. I would think I would even say that this this combination is easier to shoot with for stills than Inspire in that we have a lot more precision you know, via the Mobi controller, a lot less latency um, because of the speed of the mirrorless and the, the S bus. So that, that's a real win that we can um, you know, do better on the usability standpoint and the results of the images are so much higher quality. It's, it's exciting times. Awesome little box here, and uh, that'll do it for today. Signing off. <laughs>